Good morning, students. Welcome to the session on Excel Foundation. Okay, Excel Foundation. In our today's lecture, we are going to see the data types available in your Excel Foundation. RS, MS, Excel. I can say the first data type that I am going to discuss is your labels. Label is nothing but the text or the numbers, whatever the thing that you are going to type in your cells that will be called as labels. I can say. Say suppose if I am entering like this name, then this will be called as a label. If I am entering something one and two, then it will be called as label. If I am giving some number, then it will be called as label. Okay, like this. If you are entering any text, any numbers, any special symbols like percentage, some text. They will be called as labels. Okay, whatever the text, what all the numbers, what all the special characters that you are going to enter, they will be called as labels. Okay, and this next data type that we are having is numbers. When you are entering only pure numbers, then it will be called as number data type. Right? Say suppose one, two, three, four, then it will be called as number data. Right? See, whenever we are entering the number data. The number data will be having a separate group called number group, where you people will be putting that date, uh, that number into date format, currency format, whatever thing that you want to select, you can select from that. But generally, when you are typing only numbers within your cells, then that will be called under number data type. And this next one that I can discuss here is your dates. Okay, whenever we are having any dates, say suppose if I am entering some. Five slash two slash two thousand twenty. Say which means for date. Okay, generally we will be writing the uh, date like this. Then fifth uh, date and say February month and two thousand twenty. Like this. See full month, full day will be given by your system. I can say this can be done in two ways. Generally when we are typing the data, it will be giving the date. Or else you can go to your home tab where you people will be having numbering group. From there you can select date like this, okay? Short date and long date. If you are having short date, and then it will be giving like this: five slash two slash some twenty twenty. Then it will be giving the short form like this, okay? General form it will be given. Long when you are selecting long date, then it will be giving the day, month name, and day of uh, given month and year. That will be mentioned within the date data. Okay, we will be having one more data type like, like formula. How we will be using the formula? See, in your formula bar, whatever you are writing, that will be displayed on your formula bar. But in order to make that as formula data type, we need to go through this uh, steps. Whenever you are putting your cursor into your cell, just go for your equals to symbol and then perform any operation. Five plus five, like this. See, I have typed one. Equals to five plus five, but the result is ten. When you are placing your cursor onto this cell, the result, uh, general formula, or as whatever the formula that you have entered, that will be displayed over here. Like this, you can use the formula. You can apply that for complete column, complete row, whenever it is required. Okay, like that, we will be giving some formulas. Say suppose if I am going with one more. Excel sheet where you, where you people will be having some marks of students where you want to find the total of total marks of the students then you will be directly applying the formulas like this equals to say this in this particular cell I am having the data C2 cell D2 cell and E2 cell then I will be putting the formula like C2 plus D2 plus and E2. See the selection selected part will be shown in you people like this by putting the dark lines over there. Okay, if I am entering this, if I am hitting enter on my keyboard, then automatically formula will be implemented and the result will be given to you. Like this, you people will be giving the formulas. Okay, this is the formula data. Like this, we will be having different kind of data types that can be utilized in our Excel sheet. I can say. That's it for now. Data that we are having in Excel, and we will be discussing few more things later. That's it for now. If you are having any doubts, just let me know by your comments so that I can clarify you people, and we'll go for the next part in your next lecture. Thank you.